Querétaro has fallen thanks to our brave soldiers in the north, with little help of the American cannons. Puebla has surrendered, and after a long siege, the French have abandoned Mexico City. What remains to be done, Señor Presidente? We have done well, Porfirio, but this is just the beginning. We must consolidate the power. We must make sure the whole world knows that we will no longer tolerate interference in our affairs. Well, the execution of Maximilian showed the world that his corpse will be on the next boat back to Austria. Although I hardly believe it was necessary to execute him. You still honor nobility, Porfirio. Could it be you secretly wish to be a member of that group yourself? My ambitions are much more modest, Señor Presidente. Hmm. What else do you have planned? Well, I thought about giving the Americans that helped rescue you in Zacatecas a medal. It would be called the Medal of the Legion of Honor. After all, they did the Republic a great service, and their help in Querétaro was significant. We could have defeated the French without it, I believe. Perhaps, but it would have taken many more years than tens of thousands of Mexican lives. Don't misunderstand. I respect what Lincoln has done, and Grant as well. But I do not trust the gringos. Give them a tortilla, and they will take the command. Give them a sip of water, and they will keep the canteen. Be yourself said, Señor Presidente, as among individuals, as among nations, the respect for the rights of others is peace. Yes, o mejor dicho, entre los individuos como entre las naciones, el respeto al derecho ajeno es la paz. That is true as far as it goes. I like some Americans, but one at a time. It is when they come in numbers that, that I get unsettled or when they spend their money to undermine the country, or when they use us as scapegoats to win elections. But, very well, you shall have the medals. But, it will be a quiet ceremony in the small reception room. No press, no photographs. You may go now. Señor Presidente, 